Hello and welcome. Today is an October 29, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome you, my spirit guides and holy angels, in the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys, so this is my third time recording this video. And it's not because of the audio. Um, it's because I keep blanking out. <laughs> oh no, I'm still scrambled. It could be because of Mercury and Roger Grade, right? Who knows? Um, and I had to swap out my deck because I wasn't feeling uh, the energies that were coming through. Um, so let's see. This is the third time I'm recording, so hopefully uh, this energy will stay. Also, I've been getting interruptions on my phone. Um, people have been calling me, and I probably need to call them back. So aside from that, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, and I hope you enjoyed yesterday's reading um, with the audio issues and all. But it was a good reading, guys, you know, if you haven't watched it. You know, um, if it was for you, then it was meant for you. Um, if you're able to get any kind of messages from that particular uh, channeling. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see... What does a today's energy bring for this collective? Oh, and guys, okay. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to go live for Halloween, but if I am, I have something prepared for one lucky subscriber. And I have a gift box. So in this gift box, I have uh, two bath bombs and uh, a bath salt. And uh, this comes with a twin flame quickie, okay? So uh, if you make a uh, super chat donation, um, even if you donate or, uh, or if you have a question that you'd like to ask, um, I'll put your name into a drawing uh, of you uh, to have a chance to win that lovely gift box. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to go live. Um, it's a maybe, you know, it really depends because uh, Halloween is on a Saturday and I normally don't go uh, uh, live or do readings on Saturday so I might do it tomorrow so if I go live tomorrow that would be the reading for the day because I can't do two two things you know do uh, a journal collective reading and then uh, go live at the same time I just don't have that kind of um, energy guys you know like I said I mean, if you're with me on the last one I had ADD I had to take a, a bathroom break and you know get up and walk around because I, I can't sit in channel forever like you know I see other uh, youtubers and they can go on for two to five hours at a time I'm like are, are they taking a break or <laughs> they keep going and going and going and channeling drains me guys like I don't know how other people can sit there and channel all day long I can't do it you know? um, it's just as uh, strenuous as doing physical activity at least for me like if I channel I can only do like a couple hours a day and that's it I'm tapped out guys I can't I don't know I don't know how other people do it like but listen Spirit, please clear my energy for this collective and bring forth the energies that want to come through. What is the main theme or topic that wants to come through for this masculine and feminine collective for today? What is the energy that wants to come through for this divine collective? What is the energy that wants to come through for this spirit? Thank you. 
money okay so for masculines it's all about the money and towards the feminine we have here ice queen so i really feel like a masculine is either being iced up towards their feminine or feminine uh you're being iced up towards your masculine um that's what i'm seeing guys wow but uh masculines they're having a financial issue or a situation possibly dealing with an ice queen and that's another thing that i picked up and that was in yesterday's channeling so uh in case that audio bit didn't come through i did see an air sign a uh, karmic that was with the masculine who has cut the masculine off for money and i really feel like uh, this is like a legal notice it could have been a certified male um where uh this person served papers towards the masculine you know for a financial uh situation so that's what i was feeling from yesterday and it's actually coming through for today wow so let's see and i see that it's possibly done with a soulmate connection okay wow it's coming through for today it's weird and for feminines, we have here Twin Flame. So overall, you're in the energy or vibration of your Twin Flame. And towards your masculine, we have here a mature woman. So either you are a mature woman, feminines, or your masculine is a mature woman. Take it as it resonates. But I see that we're dealing with feminine energy here. One of them is karmic or, uh, yeah, one of them is karmic and one of them is dealing with a true Twin Flame. That is what I'm seeing. Wow. So let's clarify. Spirit, please uh, reveal to me what is the underlying energy with our masculines and feminines. What is going on unconsciously or subconsciously with our masculine and feminine collective. What is going on beneath the surface. What is going on with our masculine and feminine energies. And what are their energies towards each other. What is going on with their energies, please, Spirit? Thank you. Physical activity, but it's in reverse. So, masculines, they're not doing anything right now, especially when it comes to, you know, doing things. I feel that uh, their intuition is blocked, also their communication, and it has something to do with their financial stability, okay? That was uh, the energy of the masculines from yesterday. I feel like it was the root chakra, right? That's what I'm seeing, guys. Wow. And towards the feminine, uh, their intuition is blocked. Their intuition is blocked. That's why they're iced up. They're not really communicating to you right now, feminines. I really feel like it's because their stability is being affected. And it's actually hurting this masculine in a physical sense. Wow. This is really interesting. I feel like, you know, when it comes to you, feminine, uh, when it comes to uh, decision making, masculines, they can't make up their mind. And um, they might come off as a little bit cold. Okay, um, and don't take offense to it, but I really feel like this masculine's going through a personal circumstance or situation dealing with finances. Honestly, I feel like it has something to do with the karmic. You know, at one token, what I'm feeling is that this masculine felt that this karmic was like their soulmate. Um, maybe this masculine put soulmates and twin flames in the same category is what I'm, I'm actually hearing and seeing. But, you know, when it comes to you, this masculine is blocked up because they're not seeing you clearly right now. I feel like it's because they're they're currently dealing with a past situation dealing with their karmic. So there is a karmic situation that masculine is currently dealing with and that's why this masculine is blocked up. Okay? Right now their intuition is is clouded, guys. You know, I see it in here two times. You know, towards you and also with their personal circumstance. And I really feel like for some of these masculines they think that feminines you're the karmic. That's what I'm seeing. Wow, that's actually interesting. And with you, Feminine, we have rebirth, but it's in reverse. So <laughs> things are shifting, right? So you're in the vibration, Feminines, that when it comes to your twin, um, maybe uh, you're taking a step back for having this rebirth. So right now, it's about renewal, um, review, 
reconsider, you know, reconsidering the situation with your masculine because right now your stability is not so grounded. Also, your communication. So I feel like because you cannot communicate to your masculine at this time and also your stability is affected, you can't see that you can have like a new beginning with your twin. And I really feel like it's because this masculine is being icy or really cold towards you. Um, and it's because of this financial obligation or situation. And you have matured over the situation, but right now you're not feeling uh, compassionate. So I feel like you're being called to be more compassionate towards your masculine feminines. For some of you feminines, your intuition is blocked up too. Your crown chakra, your third eye chakra is blocked. So is your masculine. But your masculine, they're, they're not able to communicate. That's why, guys, you know, I had a, a feeling three times already before I started this reading. I, I just, I felt scrambled. I was like, damn. I was like, how come I can't speak? <laughs> it's like it's not coming out. Like, like you know, I don't know. It was just weird. But um, that's why I'm saying. So there's a little bit of misinformation uh, or communication that's actually going on i feel like that's that's why you know this energy isn't really coming through as clear as it should so well, let's go ahead and see spirit please reveal to me what is going on with the masculine's uh 3d situation what is going on in their physical life because their intuition is blocked and they're not doing anything they're not doing anything with nobody not even with the karmic. I feel like it has something to do with money. Okay. Their finances are tight. It's the end of the month. Maybe they're stressing out about what what they have to pay out next month or something. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Maybe it's a legal um, situation. Let's see. They feel stuck, man. For some, they could be in prison, but, you know, they feel stuck and trapped. I see that, you know, they have to make a choice about ending a situation. And I feel like it's about, like, you know, uh, being a, an official person, you know, towards this community. It's like, where do they stand in this group of people? They feel stuck, man. You know, it, it's Halloween this weekend, right? So some of these masculines are stuck in whatever karmic situation that they're in. And they don't want to do anything. You know, that that's the feel I'm getting because it, it requires money. And uh, is the karmic really giving into the situation is what I'm feeling. You know, and also at the same token, you know, uh, masculines... You know, they're, they're trying to figure out where, where are they going to spend their time, focus, and uh, attention. Because I see here at number 22, it's in the upright. But with the feminines, it's in the reverse. So they're blocking their intuition about where they should spend their time, focus, and attention. Okay? And I really feel like they're just being a bitch. <laughs> no. That's if your masculine is a female. Okay? They're just being cold. I ain't going to lie. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. And um, I feel like uh, masculine um, has the feminine in mind. They want to give you a gift, uh, feminines. That's what I'm seeing. And, you know, I feel like there's a situation dealing with the courthouse. Papers aren't going through. Mind you, we're marking retrograde. Okay, so if there is some legal documents that you need to sign, especially from uh, the beginning of the retrograde, right? Um, I forgot when it started, um, but wasn't it like uh, the beginning of October, right? From the beginning of October until now, because it, it's going to trickle in into November 3rd, okay, is uh, when Mercury goes right. You don't want to sign any damn paperwork, okay? Uh, so masculine is holding back or, or, you know, trying to get out of this courthouse situation. That's what I'm seeing. And they're dealing with a mature woman. Damn. Look at this. We have it over here. So, feminines, you could be a, a, the mature person. Or this is your energy towards the masculine. So, there's a third party interference. And I feel like it's dealing with an older woman. It could be you, feminine. But it could be another person. This could be like a grandparent, right? 
or you know whoever the karmic is it's an older mature person and so it's taking this masculine some time to really settle in because they're dealing with the karmic like this bee feels entitled to money yeah masculine wants to put an end to a situation they feel stuck they want to put an end you know uh to a situation i feel like it's with the karmic wow the wealthy man they want to <laughs> now if this karmic thought that your masculine is a sugar daddy masculines they're like you know what Th this is it you know you serve me papers you try to put my ass in court and you want x y and z who do you think you are what makes you feel so entitled that you're gonna get a penny out of my ass you know that's the feel i'm getting this masculine is lit man this masculine is like no hell no b <laughs> like my my stuff is on lock you know you don't have the key to my freaking bank box like what so there is some change that's going on with this mask and i feel like they're leaving a karmic situation or a community of people you know that's what i'm seeing this masculine's had it man and they're gonna put themselves into work so they're working on ending the situation to you know uh be uh mr warbucks right daddy warbucks to karmic okay that's what i'm seeing well i'm here like daddy dearest you know for some i i have this feeling that whoever this karmic is they serve papers to this masculine and um this karmic has a child it's a newborn child but the, the child isn't even this masculine and this this karmic is trying to tag on um this baby you know towards the masculine you know i keep getting that energy but you know masculine is tired of slaving like for what you know they don't even have much to begin with and this karmic wants to come in and try to take whatever they can like why so there's a message of concern and i really feel like feminines you know maybe you received a message from your masculine that your masculine is moving or they're changing jobs or location because their finances is being affected and they want to put an end to it right or maybe uh this masculine lost so much money and now they're poor or maybe um they don't have enough money you know that's why they're not in the vibration of doing anything because they they lost a big nugget towards a karmic you know they're not using their intuition that this karmic is really a karmic this ice queen you know that's what i'm saying and they they it was a, a soulmate right that's what i'm saying guys wow and then we have the lovers so a masculine wants to work on sending you a message to make a decision and change they want to change they want to open back up towards you feminine that's what i'm seeing but right now they can't see how because they lost their money the the most important thing to a masculine energy is stability okay it's uh logistics it's uh you know tangible things things that they can see the things that are uh, is really important to the feminine energy are feelings you know esoterics uh spiritual knowledge things like that that's why you know masculines you know when they lost the money they're they're hurt guys that's what i'm seeing you know i channeled this with a personal reading from last night and it's actually coming in here and i use totally different cards guys i kid you not different set of cards and also this is yesterday's reading trickle into today so if you didn't hear the message from yesterday obviously it's, it's showing up in today's reading okay so let's go ahead and see what is the feminine energy in a 3d you know when it comes to your twin flame you know uh there's a setback okay um there's a setback and you know you need to be more mature and show compassion towards your masculine and i know feminines you're like you know i'm tired of getting compassion but i see that it's going to require some compassion because this masculine is going to message you okay that 
they can't really come to you they can't really see how they can there's a karmic that's blocking how this masculine can see how they can get out of a, a physical situation that they're in it's stressing this masculine out oh, it's about what the money and judication like i kid you not somebody's going to court and it's about money man that's what i'm saying masculine is thinking about you but feminines you could be thinking about your masculine right that's what i'm saying and there's a group of people okay again and you're really concerned about your masculine's karmic situation right and you're on this journey this twin flame journey and you're like wow there's unexpected something that's happening it's not income it's an unexpected loss is what I'm feeling that's why you know you have this twin flame energy and you know you wanted a rebirth but right now there's a setback that's what I'm seeing so I see that you're working feminines you're working on your job and ooh, you're working on a commitment or your marriage so for some of you feminines if you're in a marital situation you're working on you're working on it you know I don't know I'm actually getting a really good energy for today yesterday what I felt was that uh, feminines for some of you you're actually married to your karmic you're married to your job that's for some of you feminines you're married to your job because you know, that's all you can do and you're being a mature woman again this is three times I'm seeing this and this reading so far. You're being called to be the mature individual and just stay dedicated to your work. But for some, you're working on your marriage and trying to mature. And this is if you're married to your divine masculine but if you're not in a relationship with your masculine this could be your karmic partner because right now you're having to take a step back and in coming into union with your masculine because your masculine is blocked up because there is a um an air sign that is intervening okay or interfering the intuition of this masculine about how they can move forward towards you but you're being called to be mature feminines, okay? Show some compassion. Throw yourself into your work. Because it's the honorable thing to do. Your your situation is that you're going to stay in your integrity. Wow, we have the courthouse and it came up in reverse. Uh, I really feel like there's a delay in uh, some courthouse documents or records about maybe... Uh, this marriage or your personal divorce feminines this is for you but also it could mean that the masculine energy okay so there is a delay in the paperwork for what I can feel about making a decision and working on changing some uh, there's um, there's a situation in a legal document that needs to be modified okay like i feel like you have to go to the courthouse and fix some records or fix some documentation so that um it's pre presentable for for the court okay that could be uh for someone specific i feel like it, it has something to do with the marital record okay and you've been working on it feminines if i were you just wait until next week when mercury goes direct um, so that the paperwork can go through because if you had um, any kind of a marital documents during a retrograde period, that shit is fucked up. It's messed up. That's what I'm seeing. You know, it's not going to go through. And I see that you're dealing with a, a legal person. This is a legal person, someone who is um, a government official um that's what i'm seeing this person is going to help help you resolve this issue dealing with the courthouse records okay that's what i'm saying but also i feel like you're going to receive an official um notice about how the court uh court situation or documents didn't go through 
or there's a delay in the paperwork and you're going to hear it from your masculine if your masculine's in this energy that's what i'm seeing but masculines they're thinking about you okay feminines you know and feminines i feel like you're thinking of your masculine that's what I'm saying. You're thinking, is your masculine uh, going to end the situation? Because your masculine is uh, dealing with a, uh, a monetary situation also. And they're changing. They, they have to leave, is what I'm seeing. For some of these masculines, uh, they have a bank account that's tied in with the karmic. And they're trying to change. Change it out. <laughs> Oh no, guys, let me know who that is. So let's see. Spirit, uh, what is currently going on with this masculine and feminine energy? And if the karmic energy wants to show through, please reveal what it is. What is currently going on with this masculine and feminine energy? Please, Spirit. What is currently going on with the masculine and feminine energy? wants to show through for today's collective energy so there is a delay <laughs> nothing new right what El Vlogi called it the other day but I see that there's healing so there's hope that balance will be restored in this situation and I see that it's in regards to getting a divorce so this is definitely about someone who is going through a divorce or a separation it's something legal there is some sort of paperwork that um, either didn't fall through or needs to be modified or um, there's a situation that requires like a payout. It's going to cost money. Maybe uh, there's a legal representation, you know, uh, that, that needs to intervene in the situation between masculine and karmic and also feminine energy over here. So I feel like it's hiring an attorney, um, filling out documents, paperwork not going through. Maybe karmic wanted extra money, things like that, right? You know, you know, I feel like you have to pay for something, you know, is what I'm feeling. And it, and I feel that there's a victory. Wow. So that's good news. So there is a victory that um, you guys are going to get together. Okay. Now, I definitely see masculine is coming back. Both you guys are coming back together. And I feel like this is after a period of separation where both counterparts were not feeling very happy. And I see that you guys have been watching each other and um oh this is the ace of swords so uh i feel like there's a delay in at uh, this communication both you guys are working on your situation individually uh right now i feel like uh, no one is really talking about the next steps but i see masculine is preparing themselves you know to offer something towards their feminine and i see that it's an apology masculine is going to express their feelings because that is what they desire they desire to be with you feminine that is what i'm saying but because of this karmic <laughs> who is uh feeling like uh entitled um towards you know some sort of uh, financial situation uh i feel like masculine is uh, trying to push through this energy okay of uh, this third party situation okay of feeling like you know they don't have all their stuff in, in place and so um masculine wants to give back towards the feminine and they want to give you an offer so this is really positive guys so even though that things are not looking good both counterparts are working on the situation so that you guys could work it out so you guys can get back together that's what i'm saying so it's like a universe is giving the masculines and feminines a test to see how true they love each other how how much are they going to work for this connection even though that this karmic wants to come through and you know throw a monkey wrench in the plans you know because of a legal document you know masculine they're, they're going to end it and I saw it with the imprisonment card, right? They want to end the situation, uh, you know, about uh, this karmic wanting, like, 
a pension or a payout, a monthly paycheck is what I'm seeing, right? And uh, my husband's working really hard, okay, uh, to to make a decision. And they're gonna, they might communicate this to you that they're changing. They're actually moving away from this karmic if they can help it. You know, this uh, community of people is really toxic to this masculine. So I see that there's um, there's a lot of uh, defenses that are are you know popping up and I feel like it's for the feminine but this could be masculine energy uh masculines they're really guarded okay everybody wants a piece of masculine from I can feel and they're really guarded guys okay this could also be you feminine and I see the four of wands so being defensive and really coming together this could be a celebration in the home there's just too many people and I feel like feminines you're seeing over here, you're being independent, you're working on yourself. I feel like for the holiday, you're going to read a book, maybe you have like a glass of wine and um, really just keep to yourself, right? You're not really going to partake in the festivities, but I really feel like a masculine is stuck in um, this energy of this community of people. And I see that uh, masculine is going to walk away from it. So if masculines were being invited by a karmic community of people, masculines like, no, you go ahead and you enjoy yourselves. I'm going to be alone, right? Yeah, and I see that a masculine is going to contact you. Uh, they could be communicating to you to see like, hey, feminine, what are you up to? Like the karmic is you know, wanting to do a celebration, I can't handle this, you know, they're going to do them, and I gave them the money, because that's all they wanted anyways, and uh, masculine is wanting to communicate to you that they want to work on a situation with you, so they're leaving a karmic, and they're going towards you, guys, I see here three eights, Wow, that's abundance. That's 888, right? And it's on top of the four of uh, wands over here. So there's definitely union that's coming through. For now, masculines are being defensive and feminines. You're, you're sitting here like, you know, I don't know, sitting in your, uh, your what, what is that, that chaise? You know, that, uh, that chair that you sit in and you just lay down and, you just eat grapes and cheese and your wine and pomegranates and shit like that. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Masculines, they want to work on it. And I feel like they want to they want to uh, make something for you, feminine. It could be some soup, like some, some uh, maybe some chili. I don't know why I'm getting this. I feel like <laughs> this masculine, you know, wants to make some soup or they've made some soup and they want to... Uh, give you like some chili it actually has a bit of rosemary in there like a um some fresh herbs um possibly they grew this in their garden i don't know who the hell this is but damn <laughs> it must be finger licking good you know <laughs> i feel like i don't know maybe i'm hungry and i see that um there's a decision that's being made that masculines they're going to offer their feelings towards you this masculine knows that they love you okay that's what I'm saying. So there will be union. For some of you, you might get together with your masculine over the weekend. Okay? That's for some of you, not everybody. But I really feel that whoever this is, they're stuck in a situation. Your masculine is stuck in a situation. And they're going to either, you know, give whatever the karmic wants so that they can just spend time with you. You know? And um, I feel like it's away from this group of people that, that they're in. That's what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and see what else. What does this collective need to be self-aware of? So if this reading is resonating with you, what do you need to be aware of? What is of this situation? What is it that you need to be aware of in this moment? What should your focus be on for today? Am I willing? I don't know. 
I feel like, is that you, masculine? Are you willing? You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain, and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Exactly, man. Is this mask unwilling, okay, to move or change or get away from this karmic situation? I see her number nine. Okay, so that's an ending of a cycle, okay? Um, and I feel like it's from giving handouts to the karmic, right? So for today, be brave, follow your heart's compass, and lift the lid on your own dreams. Today's mantra, it's possible, it's possible. Masculine, are you willing to let go of this situation? Because this money situation is driving you batshit crazy. All right, And I feel like it's a karmic who, who wants every damn thing in the whole wide world. And and they, they feel like you know they're entitled to receive it from you. Man... Like, put that B in their place and move on. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. So, are you willing to let go of the karmic situation, masculine, so that you can come forward towards your feminine who is sitting here under their, um, their tree of abundance? I see her abundance, 888. If the masculine leaves the karmic situation, there's going to be a whirlwind, right? There's going to be fast communication, and you guys are going to be able to work it out. Masculines, if they've been holding back their feelings, now they're ready to express their love is what I'm getting. They've made a decision to tell you how they feel. That's what I'm seeing, guys. That's really beautiful. Wow. So let's see what else. What are the messages that the masculine say to their feminine? Wow. Oh. Two more messages. What two messages does the mask want to say towards their feminine? Two more messages, please, spirit. What two messages does the mask want to say towards their divine feminine? One more message, please, spirit. Palo Alto. What is that? Well, if you leave a voicemail message, maybe I'll, I'll consider calling back. <laughs> One more message, please. For One final message. Okay. Okay. That's it? No voicemail? Okay. Must not be important. I will wait for a sign from you. Wow. Masculines, they're waiting for a sign. So feminines, um, you know, is this masculine willing to, you know, let go of their past so that they can come forward towards you? They're waiting for a sign. I feel like they're waiting for, like, a green light from I can feel. I know I was a distraction from your pain. You know, masculines, they feel like they were distracting you uh, from, you know, whatever healing that you were going through. And also, I bury myself in work to forget you. <laughs> you know what? So is the feminine. You know, both of you guys are marrying each other, man. I can't make this stuff up. So let's see what else. What else does the masculine want to say? Spirit, what three messages does the mask want to say towards their feminine? What is the message that mask want to say towards their feminine? What are the messages, please, Spirit? Okay. No one else feels the same way you do. No one. Oh. One more message or two more messages, please, Spirit? What two messages want to come through from masculine towards the feminine? What are the messages, please, Spirit? 
they want to make love to you and they're ready for that halloween that full moon action right one more message it's a once in a blue moon right? <laughs> what happens once in a blue moon right <laughs> one more message oh please don't leave me stay Masculines, they don't want you to leave. They want you to stay, feminines. You know, that's what I'm saying. So, let me go ahead and end this reading with a guidance message. So, what type of guidance do you guys need for today? Hmm. I guess I'll do the Oracle of the Sevens. Let's see. Dear Spirit, what is the closing guidance message that you have for this uh, collective? What is the closing guidance message? Because I see that for this collective, okay, if this is resonating with you, you will be with your mess, and it's just there's always an obstacle, right? There's always a detour, there's always a delay. Karmic can't get enough of masculine. Hopefully, you know, masculine will close out their karmic cycle so that they can spend some time with you. You know, because they don't want you to go. They want you to stay. And they want to make some good love to you, fine. That's what I'm seeing. Like, no one else feels the same way as you do. <laughs> they want some of that feminine, right? They're like, trick or treat. <laughs> Wow, we have feeling the world. So this is a number 13 in regards to a new beginning uh, and collaboration for something stable is what I'm seeing. So let's see. Number 13. Sensitivity to the feelings of others, awareness of the whole world, and a broader perception, empathy, overload, and overwhelm. Empathy reminds you that you are not alone. It is a beautiful capacity to feel the connectivity all around you, giving you a profound sense of belonging, a broader experience of being part of a larger whole. That said, it can be overwhelming, especially when you don't know where you end and the rest of the world begins. Now, is the time to be clear about your boundaries. Ask yourself whose energy you've turned into. You might find it's not even yours. If you're feeling off or drained when you're with someone, they may be siphoning your energy. In such an instance, this connection is not good for you, no matter how charismatic the person is or how attracted uh, to them you feel. Do not mistake codependency for closeness or allow your boundaries to become too porous. Dang. I really feel like it's this masculine, right? They're in a community uh, setting or a situation and they're siphoning the energy of this masculine. Masculines, I feel like they just want some feminine time. And, you know, who is in the way? This group of people are like, you know, masculine, you know, can you do this? Can you do that? Can I have money? Can you give me money? <laughs> What is it? What else do you need? You know, and and it's draining this masculine. That's why they're throwing themselves into work, you know, because they keep thinking, you know, about you, feminine, thinking about the karmi situation, you know. Now they have to go to court, you know. That's what I'm seeing. So they need to practice to say no, avoid the temptation to turn off and go numb, instead of being present. Somewhere in the middle of this feeling spectrum is where the magic is. You need to feel. Where is it that you need to be? Where do you feel home? Okay, where do you feel like you, where you need to be? Is it with this community of people that is siphoning you and blah, blah, blah? You know, for some of these masculines, they're like, leave me alone. You can go over there. I just want to be by myself when, you know, in all reality, what? Masculine, they're like, please don't leave me stay. I want you feminine. You know, I want to make some love to you. You know, they need to recharge their batteries. Nobody else feels the same way you do from what I can see, you know. You're also being asked to now be aware of how your words and actions may affect others. While it's not your job to determine how someone will respond to you, discernment is necessary. Be firm yet kind. 
Keep in mind that people pleasing will not give you what you truly need. That said, your empathy is beautiful and important. It just has to be balanced in order for you to assess its wondrous gifts. Today, celebrate the beauty of your sensitivity of that and of others. You know, I really feel like there has to be a balance, right? There has to be a balance of give and take in whatever situation, karmic situation, feminine masculine situation, whatever it is, you know, is what I'm getting. So, you know, if that's you, really feel the world and um, really determine and use your discernment and see whose energy is whose and, you know, and set some healthy boundaries. That's what I'm saying. Be firm and be kind, guys, okay? You know? That's what I'm seeing for today. So I really hope that uh, this reading was helpful. Let me know what you think. And thank you again for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. And guys... Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to go live, but if I am, it might be tomorrow. Could be on Saturday. But if I do the live on Friday, there is not no live session on Saturday, okay? Only do it once. <laughs> and I'm really feeling like maybe I'll do it tomorrow because, you know, Scorpio Moon likes to have her weekends. <laughs> You know, some days I like to do nothing, you know, and it's a great thing, you know. I might just go and get me a pedicure or just do something nice for myself, you know. Everybody needs a little me time, right? You know, especially if you're not with your masculine, but it would be nice, you know, because no one else feels the same way you do. You know, please don't leave me stay and they want to make love to you. You know, and I'm pretty sure you do too, feminine. You know, so I really hope that this reading was helpful. You know, again, if you make a, a super chat contribution, if I go live, you'll be entered into a drawing for this wonderful gift box, okay? And it comes with a twin flame quickie, okay? So if you don't know what a Twin Flame Quickie is, you can go to my website and look at it, right? Um, also, guys, uh, all of my bath uh, bombs and bath salts are on sale. So go ahead and take a look into those, okay? Uh, I have here Divine Goddess Bath Salts. I don't know if it can focus, yes. And also my lovely bath bombs, okay? So go ahead and check these out, guys, okay? And I also have them in these uh, tubes, which is half of the size of this uh, jar, okay? And also, guys, I still have those two crystals left. I have this moon crystal. Okay, and this alternate crystal, if you guys didn't uh, make it to the very end of my reading from yesterday's reading, guys. So these two are still available, and they're gorgeous and blingy. So, you know, go ahead and check it out if you like to, you know, uh, claim yours. Okay, if it's calling towards you. And, um, and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye-bye.